here in the Citadel. We have just arrived and seen our ambassador guy. I don't remember his name. Talking to some council members. Um, good lord, it's only been one day. I don't remember what he said. Anyway, uh, we need to convince them that Saren is a dirty scum bucket and a murderer. But they will not believe us dirty humans because they don't want us around here because we propagate too much or some such business. I think they're just jealous. Yeah, she knows what I'm talking about. Him. I don't know. Okay. Let us proceed into the Citadel where we will do something. Let's explore. Oh. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right, I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. You know, it's hard to tell who's speaking when there's no mouth moving. Anyway, hello, Zeltan. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. Allow me to distract you anyway. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Uh. I was about to say, isn't a consort a hooker? But that's an escort. Let's, let's say that. Uh, mm -hmm. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. Well, she's good looking it enough. is too she's sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Mm. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Kaylin! Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kaylin. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, so we discovered much. our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. 
the Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, dear. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Was that a burn? Kinda hard to tell. What do you do here? Modestly. Nope. I already did that one. I work for ah, skip, they skip. only give Chastising us rebuke. Okay. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame. Goodbye, for Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Shh. Okay. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Din Korlak. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. He was. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Ooh. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. No more than the Alcor. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. That's a good idea. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are mm. overlooked by the Council. That's a short joke. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Uh. Okay, let's go talk to the bug. No? We cannot talk to the book. Hmm. That's some impressive typing. Some people can't type with two hands. Nothing here? Okay. Mm-hmm. 
A door to the left. A door to the no. A door to the left. Weird lights. Okay. Uh oh. Somebody call the gardener. Oh. Oh, ceiling fan. Okay. Embassy receptionist. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Hello, receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the blue. stairs, first room on the right. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry, you were blue. Oh, I was just... Commander? You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. I'm notable. Oh, yeah. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you're at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Ah, snazzy. Ooh. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for I the like embassies. It. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the it? hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. All right, then. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Somebody should really sweep up all these leaves. Yeah. Okay. Right Eavesdropping. Are you just standing there, staring at each other, shaking your head? Oh, yes, yes they are. He just nodded. You can do that. Hello? Who's here? Is there a map? Oh, good. Okay. Oh, there's the uh, consort. Consort. That's where I was. Oh, well, hey, no. I guess I'll just keep looking around. Huh. Greetings, Alcor Diplomat. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Those are some giant toes. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a bug. They don't want to talk much. Hello, Turian, I think. You don't want to talk to me? Okay. Alright. That's bonus things. More bonus things. Hello, diplomat. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh, that's the way I came. Okay. And we're going this way. Is it getting your pallet? Should have liked their ceiling fans. Hello, diplomat. This place seems strange. Wish there were more humans around. Okay. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Bartender, please. What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Mm -hmm. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Now, Most of the diplomats like and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Right, she's good at what she does. Yeah. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. What kind of place? Goodbye. So long, Commander. I carry four Have a guns. Day. I should fit right in. Nasana. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Oh, pardon me, Princess. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Fredericks. He totally did. <laughs> yeah, ceiling fan. Um. Oh, I skipped that room, didn't I? Yeah. Nothing here, anyway. Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Um, hmm. No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Close enough. Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Hmm. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. 
especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Uh. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Hmm, time for some Frogger. Yeah! Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, few tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build on our own new world. Come join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. So, biotic people are being encouraged to gather somewhere because they're feeling left out. To the Hawking Eta Cluster. Okay. Perhaps I will make my way there someday. says what it's in. To CSEC Academy. That, that way. Come there. To Citadel Tower. Maybe it's that. Now let's talk to, to the Presidio. Avina. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Okay. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this oh, level, you can see the Citadel was. Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel. Though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. I've been there. It's very nice. Tell me about the embassies. Hmm. 
Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. So the Volus have been here 2,300 and some odd years, and have not gained a seat on the council. The humans have been here 19, and are nosing in on it. No one has ever said about it. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Why? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Why were people trying to keep oh, my species out? The Council gave a great okay. deal of thought to this matter. In mm. the end, they decided humanity's impact... How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species mm. to have a voice on the Citadel. So the Volus are not contributing to the Citadel, so they're not, they don't have a council seat. Surely they know that. Which one uh, did I do? I think I did. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first oh, not yes, I did. the most recently added embassy yeah. belongs to your own species, humanity. Spectres. It was added 19. Do you know anything about the term Spectre okay. is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked hmm. by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction hmm. simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Oh, yes, I will do that. Okay. Hmm. Where should I go now? Go over there. Last step 
over here. Let's go. What's this point of interest? Destinations or destinations? She's popular, there's three of them. No, don't do that. Let's go. That's where the Normandy will be. Oh, nope, put it, nope. Not that. Shh, stop it. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well, it was locked, so meh. Well, let's see. Anybody here saying anything? I think I will go over here first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. thing over there. What's it doing? That's what I want Please to do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please tell me what a keeper is. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. 
You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower, one of the Presidium's most recognizable and important structures. Behind me is the Spectacular Relay Monument, a scale model representation of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the Keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see Keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The Keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity, a Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. Mm, no, hmm. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the Councilors, Ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. Hmm. What if someone has business with the Council? The average citizen must go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the Council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Well, that's what they're for. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. What happens in Citadel Control? Citadel Control handles all incoming and outbound transit. Every ship within 2,000 kilometers of the Citadel is under the jurisdiction of Citadel Control. At peak capacity, they are responsible for monitoring upwards of a thousand vessels. I'd like to hear more about the Council Chambers. The business of the Council, which often has far-reaching effects on the galactic community, is conducted in a room at the apex of the Citadel Tower. The Council Chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold, though few get to experience the view in person. Typically, only the councillors, okay. ambassadors, and high-ranking officials, along with various support staff, are allowed access. I'd like to know more about the Keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the Keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Mm, really? What is it? Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. I think they're spies. Let's see, Citadel Tower? Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Okay. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate Citadel. clearance. Tell me about the Citadel Housing. Okay. Access to these um. areas is restricted to those... I'd like to hear more about the... the, the Typically, only okay. the councillors, ambassadors, and... I'm scheduled to have an audience with the council. Only a handful of visitors to the Citadel are ever granted that privilege. I would be jealous, but that is outside the scope of my programming. Hmm. 
Okay, then. That's all for now. I think that's all she's got. Thank you for using oh, the here we go. Have a pleasant day. The power of knowledge. Booty doo. Let's see something. What does fitness do? Oh. Okay, so I shouldn't ignore assault training then. Uh, all right, there's a wounded. Isn't it nice? It's all three. Okay. Um, health higher percentages. Does not reduce damage to humans. Just the damage. You can use it, but boosting the damage requires the unlock the skill thingy. Okay. First aid. Let's do like that. I'll do one more assault training next time and a fitness. I guess you get two points per level. I don't know. That was four. Okay. First aid. She could be a sniper or a healer type of thing. She's doing this. Okay. Um. Let's do electronics. Oh, okay. Average decryption. I don't understand enough about a sentinel to know enough about what those do. So I'll just have to make what I feel are educated guesses. Or ignorant ones. Hmm. Okay, let's get out of here. Yep. I can never find the exit. Where does that go? To the... Oh. I'll be going there later. Ooh, she ate some bad fish. Huh. What? doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there it is. Hmm. It probably does something. I don't know what, but it probably does. You know why? Because I'm paranoid. I believe it does something. This place has a lot of people leaning on things. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Well, playing both sides isn't always a terrible thing. If his petition were to fail, he still make money. That's called business. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Indeed. What's it like living here on the Citadel? The station is without a doubt the greatest wonder in the galaxy. It is a technological marvel, but its true splendor goes much deeper than the hull and engines. From the Presidium to the wards, the entire station is a testament to the success of the Council. All the species of Citadel spaced together in a single strong community. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel space. Eighty percent of all intelligent species in the known galaxy acknowledge the Council's authority on interstellar matters. But only the most powerful and influential species have embassies here on the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, Shepard. People like us. What are the wards like? The cultural heart of the galaxy. They pulse with the lifeblood of millions of citizens from dozens of different species. You never know what you'll find out in the wards, Commander. It's always full of surprises. Fortunately, most of them are pleasant. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you for the information. Oh yeah, I remember those things. Yeah. I don't remember when it was.
was I played this. It was a long time ago. But I remember the... Uh, that. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. How much money do I have, anyway? Let's talk first. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one, it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Yeah, okay, well, that's fine. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Oh, I can choose what to look at. Uh, Non-human armors, upgrades, standard items. Well, let's go standard first. Uh, ooh, shot gun. Okay. Heavy armor, Phoenix 4. I am destitute. Sounds important. Let's buy that. Okay. Side license. Okay. Commander, um, it is good to see you stuff. again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Yes, it Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Show me you fast. will not be disappointed. Commander, it is good to see Show me your items. And now the oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Combat sensor. Uh, fusion explosive. Hmm. High caliber barrel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think we're good. Oh, what's back there? Oh, okay. Storage, I guess. Keeper. Oh, 
they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Don't eat the fish, that's for sure. Big place. Clever observation, Caden. Krogan were once seen as the saviors of the galaxy. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big, right? Yeah. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the financial district, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Yeah. Tell me more about the Krogan rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started guys. a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan Rebellions had begun. For a full it's century, a the That's Council an and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's gonna stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. One of them is. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate, and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. Hmm. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Hmm. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Well, whoever designed her didn't want to say. Hmm. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Yeah. That's nothing. I've had my office rearranged five times. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? 
It's not like Keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. And yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. <laughs> what choice do we have? If we try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces it. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. I told you, I think they're spies. They'll, they'll do something crazy one day. And you'll never see it coming. Okay, I've been everywhere, I think. No, nope, no, nope, I'm approaching the, uh, you know where. Nalina. Welcome. I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. Yeah, but if bet. you wish to leave your name, <laughs> she'll make every effort to meet with you. Yeah. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Huh? What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of she the consort's acolytes. <laughs> Many of the people here Let's today wait, will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Hmm. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Oh, yeah. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. We'll see. Hey! Ashley, another marshmallow. Okay, oh, there's three of them. You should wait out here. You'll have a good time. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. That's what she said. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Did she just call him a... I don't think she likes her brother.
I like your purple bubble. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very she... grateful. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. things about the consort. It's just... The unknown forces us nope. out of our comfort zone. Nope. It forces us to be vulnerable. Yeah, stop doing that. Exactly. That's just what I would think. Good. Then we are ready to begin. Shouldn't you go in a room somewhere? Don't, don't begin here in public. What was that? Okay. Uh, or I don't think. Between the. Places to go. Let's go see the Academy. Academy, Lords, and the Tower. Because I haven't shot anything all episode. I'm getting an itchy trigger finger. I want to shoot something so bad. Oh, I can't go to the wards. Yes, I also can't go to
Nope. The other two hands. Probably say the same thing with it. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Maybe you should Good see luck the consort. Maybe they'll listen to you. 